Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel, Whitney Sews. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recover a padded folding chair. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Okay, so let's get right into the project. I started with my padded folding chair. It has a vinyl covered seat that was cracked and splitting open. Start by patching up the splits with some heavy duty tape. Make sure to cover each area twice to reinforce it. Then flip the chair over and unscrew from the chair legs and back. This particular chair has a cardboard of sorts that is about the thickness of poster board covering the bottom of the seat. So use whatever you need to remove that covering. Now it's time to recover the seat. I used a quatrefoil printed laminated cotton. It is durable and can be wiped clean when needed. Place the fabric over the seat and make sure it is centered and the design is straight. Carefully flip over and begin to staple the edges on the underside of the seat. With this type of material, it's good to make sure that it is really tight but not stretched. At the curved corners, make small pleats so the material lays flat. Once the corner is completely stapled down, trim away any excess material. I used the original torn cardboard to cut a new piece from poster board and marked where the screw holes needed to be. Place the cover on and use a screwdriver or pencil to make sure the holes in the seat are lined up with the holes in the cover. Then staple it into place to cover all the fabric ends and give the seat a nice finish. Then screw the seat back onto the chair base and you have a beautifully recovered chair. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more makeover projects like this one. If you haven't seen last week's video yet, which was a quilted zipper pouch tutorial, you can find it right there. And there's another of my previous videos below that one as well. And if you're not subscribed, you can do so by clicking my picture right there. And I'll be back next Wednesday with another new tutorial. Bye.